How's it going everybody? This is Doom Kid. Today I'm just here to show you how to convert MUS to MIDI and MIDI to MUS on modern Windows operating systems. So what you do is you first will need to use Slade if you would like to convert a MUS to a MIDI file, which is usually the direction people will be doing this conversion in. See here we've got our MUS file. If we right click audio, convert MUS to MIDI, and now you'll see it's turned from MUS to MIDI there. We can right click it now and click export in MID format. So it'll actually export it in MIDI format, which we can use in anything other than Doom. It'll always export with a set time division, but that's fine, it'll still sound fine. Now, if you want to convert MIDI to MUS, firstly, you don't use Slade for converting MIDI to MUS. There's actually a program called MIDI 3 MUS and you'll, I'll have links for both Slade and this in the description. You download MIDI 3 MUS, you extract it wherever you want it to be, and then you simply take your MIDI file and put it on top of MIDI 3 MUS. This window will come up and go away on its own, and you can see there that was rocket.mid, and now I have rocket.mus. And it actually shrinks the file size from 72 down to 50. Now, you almost never want to convert from MIDI to MUS. The only reason you might want to do it is if your MIDI is just a little bit too large for Vanilla Doom and then a conversion to MUS makes it just small enough for MIDI for Vanilla to understand that is the only reason you should be converting MIDI to MUS and when you do it make sure to distribute your WAD with the proper MIDI as well so people who are interested in who sequence it or whatever can find that information but yeah, converting between MUS and MIDI is actually really easy. It was much harder in the old days, but thanks to Slade and MIDI 3 MUS, it's now much easier. Uh, anyway, hopefully that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.